Okay, video. The biggest, the biggest dysfunction of the black community. And what is the biggest dysfunction of the black community? Pointing out how fucked up our community is and then comparing us to the people that fucked our community up. That, that's the root cause of why our, why our community is fucked up. For instance, telling, saying things like black people um, are naturally psychologically damaged and then saying we're psychologically damaged. We have a crab in the barrel mentality. We don't want other black people doing better than us. Unlike white people and other groups of color that get together and form businesses and thrive. Did you just, did you just compare our dysfunction to the group of people, particularly white people? Who caused us to have this dysfunction? That's the biggest dysfunction of them all. We're not going to do that stupid shit in 2020. And to say, and stop saying, and then you use the terms like black on black crime and black lives. We say black lives matter, but black lives don't matter to black people. Where the fuck you've been? So you as a black person, what you're telling me is that somehow you're an exception to the rule. Because the last time I checked, you're black. And if you're saying black people, since you're making such a generalized blanket bitch ass statement, black people have a crab in the barrel mentality and are psychologically messed up. What you're telling me is you are psychologically messed up. Well, the fact that you even making these statements shows you psychologically messed up and you ain't quite right in the head because you didn't give the root cause of why black people are that way. We're not naturally that way. We've never naturally been that way. We've always been community oriented. Even in our dysfunction, we have a level of community, um, being community oriented. And I can tell you in the South, that was definitely a thing. We definitely live by it takes a village to raise a child. Even during slavery, we did the best we could to defend each other as much as we could, you know. Whether you was a mammy, whether you was a field slave, a house slave. Now, of course, you're living in dysfunction. You're living in a, an environment that does not, the nature loves you, but the people, but the pale people, the white people that have you imprisoned, they don't give a fuck about you. They, they care more about the donkey and the cows and the pigs that they ate than the motherfucking people than the black people that they were forcing to do their labor and treating like shit, you know? We were just as much of an animal to them or more of an animal to them than the fucking animals themselves. Because they made themselves believe that we were born to serve them. Bitch, first of all, the creators of humanity are never born to serve any motherfucker but ourselves. That is, if we're going to serve anybody, we're going to serve our best interest. But here's the deal. We, as a people, are naturally loving, caring people. And that bullshit about we love white people better than us, that's bullshit. That's, that, that's an illusion. Like, one, the same way you, could, you talk about a crab in a barrel mentality, you know what, what's a crab in a barrel type mentality? You so quick to say something bad about who we are. It's one thing to point out a truth, but it's another to only point out a part of the truth and not pointing out why that truth is. We didn't get this way on our own. We weren't naturally this way. We're still not naturally this way. Of course, if we're put in positions to where we're having a bunch of obstacles thrown in our way and we have to fight through that shit, initially... Some of us may be that way, but that's, but that's human nature, period. That's not black nature. That's human nature. I don't give a damn what color the person is. Any person that's put that, that has been put in a position to where they have to be in survival mode 24 seven will be savage. Look at white people. Motherfuckers came from the Caucasus mountains. I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, picture it. We in Africa living our best life or wherever we chose to be because we migrated to other places too. But we tend to migrate to warm places because as you can see, this melanin ain't built for the motherfucking cold. I don't see how y'all do it. You know, it's cold now in South Carolina and I'm tripping, you know. 
anyways, because I don't like anything over 70. I'm going to tell you like that. Okay. Um, now, we're living our best life either in Africa or some other tropical Mediterranean type area where we went to. But let's let's just, let's focus on Africa. We're in Africa, living our best lives, <sighs> eating from the trees or the or the ground, um, killing whatever animal we need to kill to eat because we naturally eat, eat meat. We don't eat meat because of white people. Stop. We don't do shit because of white people. Like oh, you know, naturally. Let's let's call that out. Ugh. Anyway, so these white people came. Uh oh, they look different. They look like us, but they don't look like us. Okay, um, let's see who they are first. Of course, they knew they had to. They knew they had to pretend to be decent people. You know, ain't nobody gonna naturally. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with a person that ain't a, that shows that shows the fucked upness of themselves. You know, so it's like you know, of course, it's like okay, because we did not naturally judge people just because they were different. Uh, okay, so like, oh, okay. Hello, who are you? Hey, what's up? You know, we knew we didn't own Mother Earth. Like, well, you know, there's food around here. Pluck some food off a tree. Um, there's plenty of game or animals. You know, don't don't take no more. Don't take no more than you need. Because that's, that's the mentality we had. That's the mentality that most melanated people have. I think it's the warmth. You know, the fact that our brains aren't frozen. You know, because all that desolate, cold, and bleak environment will fuck your mind up that's why people in jail don't get better jail is not built for rehabilitation it's just built to house criminals to make them worse than what they are now you do all that shit so at some point uh some of them some of them were grateful and some of them felt like hmm these people got a lot of stuff not only do they have food they got nice clothes. I see gold. I see jewelry. You know, because we about that flashiness. That that bullshit about black people shouldn't be flashy, bitch. Motherfucker, is y'all crazy? We not dull people. We are passionate people. You know, we love. We are loving people, which is a beautiful thing. And we like shiny, flashy shit. We like nice things. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you know why we like diamonds? Because that shit came from the motherland. So, we, of course, we're going to naturally like diamonds. You know why the fuck we like gold? That shit came from the motherland. Why wouldn't we like fucking gold? And although platinum costs more, I still want gold. Platinum is dull looking. Shit. I don't give a fuck what, what it's supposed to be. Gold will always reign supreme because it's beautiful. Anyway. So. You know, we got all this shit. We live in however we live in. Some of us probably living in mud huts. Some of us may be living in, in castle-like structures. You know, however we choose to live on the land, that's what we do. Some of us may be living in small villages. Some may be living in big kingdoms. It just fucking depends. You know, we're a very diverse group of people. We're not a homogenous group. We're black, but we're different, you know. And we, we don't have a problem with differences. Now, of course, there's always exceptions to the rule. Sometimes there's some tribalism, so there's conflict between different tribes, different countries, and shit like that. That's just, that's also part of the human condition. It is what it is. When you come to this earth, you know that shit before you get here. Now, but these are different type of human beings. These motherfuckers do a 180 real quick. But they were so good at pretending to be good, we didn't see it. We never met people like them before. Because we've met other people, but they were melanated just like us. Not, You know, we weren't exactly the same, but we were very similar. And we had similar ideologies. So we got along just fine. When we ended up over here in America, because we did migrate over here way before, way before any white person did. Maybe before natives did, you know. Um, or at the same time. Who the fuck knows? But either way, Africans and, other, and native people... Or the people that we classify as natives, you know, the red people, copper people, whatever you want to call them. We coexisted just fine. We worked together. We commingled. We fucked each other. We had babies together. You know, we did all that good shit. We, you know, but every place that white people have gone, 
destruction ended up following. They pretended to be decent people, then they destroyed shit. Sometimes they just came out the gate destroying shit. Come on now. So, don't compare me to a group of people that have caused so much destruction, destruction over time, throughout history. The history that they told, the history that they gave us, shows their dysfunction. But somehow, you so quick, your black ass so quick to point out, to point out your own people destruction, I mean dysfunction, but you don't point out the root cause of it. That's the problem I have. It's one thing, if you're pointing it out to fix it, that's one thing. But if you're pointing it out to to degrade and belittle and then praise a group of people that caused the dysfunction, that's a motherfucking problem, bitch. You need to sit your funky ass down and shut the fuck up. I'm tired of hearing the dumb shit. But you know what? I still also know I'm going to, I'm here to address the stupid shit. I'm here to address all the fuck shit. Because when I address problems, I also talk about the root of the shit. I also talk about what needs to be done. You know, you, you won't hear me talk about our dysfunction in a degrading way. You know, you will never hear me say some shit like, we say black lives matter, but black lives don't matter to black people. And then black on black crime. Are, are we really saying that dumb shit? We still saying that dumb shit. So what you're telling me is, is you believe what white people tell you? Cause that's who, who that's who started that shit. Now your dumb ass picking up the bandwagon to say the shit for them. Yeah, that's our dysfunction. I'm Tawanda Van Celestial Earth Goddess. I'll check you later. Bye.